Hi there, folks, and welcome back to Airgun Reporter. I am your host, Paul Capello. For today's show, we're going to check out a timeless classic. That's right, I'm talking about the Benjamin 392 multi-pump pneumatic. This just might have been your father's or your grandfather's pellet gun. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, folks, before we get started here, I have to tell you that this Benjamin 392 comes to us as a combo package from Pyramid Air. It comes with that terrific hard Plano case we saw earlier, and it comes with a BSA 2x20 long eye relief pistol scope that is mounted on this specially made intermount that connects directly to the barrel of the rifle. Now, it does have open sights. It has a blade and ramp sight, but for our test, we're just going to be using the scope. All right, first thing we're going to do is do some crony testing. I'm going to be using the Crossman Premier 14.3 grains. Let's pass some pellets over the crony and see what we get. All right, now the manufacturer recommends not pumping this more than 10 times. So for our crony test, we're going to pump the Benjamin 392 eight times for each shot. Now I have to say that when pumping this rifle, bring that arm all the way to the top until you hear a slight hiss and then bring it all the way down. Remember, don't keep your fingers near there or you get them pinched, it's gonna cause a nice little blood blister on you. And that's eight. All right, let's go ahead and take our first shot. Folks, I gotta tell you, this little combination with the scope is really nice and light. You're not gonna have any problems carrying this into the field for hunting small game. Folks, get in the habit of putting that back on safe every time you take your shot. Put that back on safe. All right, folks, here's a tip for you. When you're finished shooting with the Benjamin 392, always keep a single pump in the rifle. That'll keep uh, any debris out of your seals and it'll keep things lasting for many years. Okay, folks, let's go ahead and take a look at those velocity numbers. Looks like our lowest number here is 620 feet per second. Our fastest, 649. Our average was 641 feet per second. An extreme spread of 29 feet per second. I have a feeling that I only pumped it up till seven times on one of the shots, and the standard deviation of 8.8 .8 feet per second. Overall, I think if I hadn't missed that one pump, that our numbers would have been very good. Let's go ahead and move on to the target testing, where our first pellet is going to be the 14.3 grain Crossman Premiers. Let's go see how we do. Folks, little details on the Benjamin 392, like the swelling on the forearm here, really helps when pumping the rifle. This is an improvement that they have made over the years. All right, let's go ahead and take our first shot. All right. Looks like we have five shots in two holes. I think that's pretty good for that little 2x20 scope, don't you? Okay, folks, the next pellet we're going to test out are the H&N Crow Magnums. These are a terrific little hollow point hunting pellet, and I hope that it works well in the Benjamin 392 because that would make it a great little small game hunter. Let's see how we do. All right, I got to tell you, folks, I've pumped this air gun over 300 times already today. My arm's getting a little sore and a little shaky. But let's see how we do downrange with those crow magnums. Not too bad. It looks like four of the five grouped really nicely. I pulled that one over here on the second shot. But overall, that's not too bad. Folks, the Benjamin 392 has a two-stage trigger, but it's non-adjustable. And the manufacturer says the pull weight is about five and a half pounds, but we'll go ahead and use my lineman pull gauge and see what our results are. Okay, folks, for the trigger testing, there really is no need for me to pump it up eight times. So I'm just going to pump it up twice, 
put a pellet in and then do the test. Looks like our first pull gave us five pounds, 2.5 ounces. Five pounds, 2.5 ounces. Five pounds, 9.5 ounces. Five pounds, 3.5 ounces. Four pounds, 12.6 ounces. And our average is five pounds, three ounces. All right, folks, let's go ahead and do the sound testing for the Benjamin 392. As always, my testing is not scientific here. I have an off-the-shelf sound level meter. And what we do is we set it for max hold. What that does is it reads the loudest sound and holds it until it reads the next loudest sound. So what we'll do is we'll shoot the rifle five times, eight pumps, and see what the loudest decibel reading is. 102.9 decibels. Hasn't changed. Still no change. And still no change. It looks like, folks, that we've pinned our sound pressure meter at 102.9 decibels. Personally, I would put this rifle in the medium to high loudness category. Well, folks, I have to tell you, the Benjamin 392 is the type of air rifle that has definitely withstood the test of time. It still has amazing power, build quality, accuracy. It's the kind of air gun you can pass down to your kids or onto someone you love. Help them become air gun addicts. This has been Air Gun Reporter. My name is Paul Capello. Until next time, please shoot safe and have fun. Please remember, folks, air guns are not toys. Even the smallest calibers can cause serious injury if not used properly. And you should never, under any circumstance, point an air gun at a person. Parents, if you teach your kids how to shoot responsibly, they will have a lifetime of air gun enjoyment. My name is Paul Capello. This has been Air Gun Reporter. Until next time, shoot safe and have fun.